Now, we have been told time and time again that we should regularly switch who provides everything from our mobile phones to our energy and our insurance, but so few of us actually do, and it's costing us. The competition watchdog has begun an investigation now after Citizens Advice lodged what's called a super complaint against the suppliers. The charity found the combined cost of being loyal runs to £4 billion a year, which is about £877 per customer and around 3% of the average household's total annual costs. So, are you one of those who's losing out? I just stay with one provider. Why? I just I find it convenient. Yeah. Yeah, same here. I don't want to waste my time. With insurance, I check that uh, on an annual basis. Things like phone plans, I'm pretty lazy. When I get like car insurance, I always check, even if I'm going to ch stay with the same provider, I always check. Funnily enough, I was talking to my mother this morning and she switched providers and she saved over £1,000. Goodness me. So here to discuss this is Helen Judney from the consumer website, The Complaining Cow. So that last lady has got a great example there. If you just put the effort in and look, then you could save yourself hundreds, if not a thousand pounds. Absolutely. And I think it's, it is, people think it's quite difficult to switch, but actually it isn't. You just have your figures and can go, on to, go onto a comparison website and probably more than one because they all have different offers and have a look and just put the information in and see what comes up. And you, you do it regularly, do you? I do. I certainly, uh, two days ago, I changed my energy supplier. And how much did you save in that switch? Uh, it told me I've sold, saved £349. A year. So, yeah. and, and that's significant. So what do you think is the problem with all of it? Is it just that we're time poor and we just think, well, I trust that company, I've had no problems, why bother? I think it's it's a mixture of a lot of things. I think people think it takes time. It's quicker than it used to be. Um, and it's much easier now to get things like your energy supply. You can go to your old bill and that will have your yearly figures yeah. so that you can put that in. Um, I think people think it's it, it's more difficult than it is, I think. Um, and also we need to be reaching more vulnerable customers as well. Yeah, and so for those who can't, this super complaint being investigated is important, isn't it? What What do you want to see changed? Well, I would like to see a lot more effort into, into the insurance companies doing more to help customers and tell them how to, how to switch. Certainly... They don't want to lose their customers. Why would they encourage it? Well, exactly. So I think we need to see more, more power from, from the government doing something. But the um, associations for uh, British insurers and the Association mm. for British Brokers in May this year provided guidance for its members on saying you've got to give, yes. uh, give insurance. Because they know it's either legislation or do it early, isn't it? It's yeah. going to come one way or another. Thank you so much, The Complaining Cow. <laughs> Thank you, nice to see you. And if you want more advice, go to our website where you'll find uh, top tips on how to save on your bills.